Corporate Misfits. Today we're talking all about what to do if you were looking to transfer your website, your funnels, even your courses all over to Kajabi. No matter what platform you're coming from, there is a process to properly do this so that you don't wanna pull your hair out along the way. So let's go ahead and dive right into how you can transfer over to Kajabi no matter what platform you're currently on. All right, let's do this. Corporate Misfits, Brittany Darrington here, and welcome to the Corporate Misfit Club channel, where we help female coaches, course creators, and consultants to build a freedom-bound business, sharing their expertise and creating automation so that they can do more of what they love in the e-learning space. Now, before we dive into today's topic, where we're gonna talk about what to do to transfer over to Kajabi, no matter what platform you're currently utilizing, I want you to check out the five funnels that every course creator needs. Now, this guide will help you to identify some funnels that can help you to create automation and generate revenue into your business 24 seven. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified of our upcoming videos. Okay, let's talk all about transferring from other platforms to Kajabi because a lot of people might've jumped into the e-learning space years and years and years ago and they got on a platform and maybe that platform was not really meeting all of their needs, but they started to build out their stuff. They they didn't know like, hey, I could now do all the things I need to do on this platform called Kajabi. Now I work with a lot of clients who do start off on other platforms and I help them to migrate to the Kajabi platform. And I will tell you, after working with a ton of women in this space on transferring and moving them over to Kajabi, there's a process that I like to take in order to make this process as smooth as possible. My team and I don't enjoy running into hiccups to where we wanna pull our hair out. So we come up with a lot of systems in our business so that we can all work efficiently and effectively. Okay, so if you are on another platform, I don't care what platform it is, whether you're on a platform for just another sales funnel company or for lead opt-ins and, and things like that, or you are utilizing another platform for your website or for your course, and maybe you're looking to marry all of that together. Maybe you're looking to move everything to Kajabi so that you can truly have a all-in-one platform. You might be utilizing another email service provider, all of that. And you're like, how do I do this? This is a big project I'm gonna have to tackle. And maybe you have a ton of courses. Like for example, I had one client who had over 200 courses and we were moving it over to Kajabi. And I was like, woo, this is gonna to be a process so maybe you're like that person right here's exactly where I would start I want you to think about what's going to be the most important thing for you to get over first so for example if your courses are generating revenue in your business and you have a membership a coaching program you have your courses whatever that may be if that's all set up on the back end of another platform and that's a revenue generating product then I want you to start building that out onto the Kajabi platform first don't worry about about the website, don't worry about all the other moving parts. Let's focus on just getting the product over to Kajabi. The reason why we wanna get that over to Kajabi is because a lot of times people will start spending their time trying to build out their website. They'll start focusing on trying to get their email marketing set up, which there's nothing wrong with that. But let's get the product over there first, and then we can build the other stuff next. Once we move the product over, whatever the product or products are, once we get those over, it's very important that we start to identify how we're going to transfer your current students over to Kajabi. Now, one of the things that I like to do is if it is a paid membership or a coaching program where there's some sort of subscription going on, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and start reaching out to clients with a four part email. The first email is going to be introducing that we have a new platform. The second email is going to really encourage them to go sign up on the new platform, plug in their credit card information because you can't just transfer that over. So plug in your credit card information, make a profile, and now you have access to the new portal. Then the third email is a reminder and the fourth email is letting them know that there's going to be a deadline of when this platform is going to be closed down or not open and they're gonna need to go to the other platform, which is Kajabi, in order to be able to access their content and material. Now, 
after you have done that process, after you have properly migrated your audience over to the Kajabi platform, then the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is anyone who's in a course where there's not a subscription associated, meaning that it's a one-time payment and they are not necessarily going to be charged anymore, or it is someone who might have had a two-time payment or a three-time payment, it's not necessarily a subscription though, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to migrate them over. So I highly recommend if you have someone who's on a payment plan, if it's possible to let them finish out their payment plan on whatever platform you're currently on and then bring them over. But if not, then we're gonna bring them on over and the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna create a free offer for the people who have already paid for their course. That means they paid in full, they don't owe any balance, they're good to go. We're gonna move them over through a free offer that's gonna be connected connected to this product and now they're gonna be able to access the new platform. They no longer need to access the old platform. Now the people who are going to be on a payment plan who have not completed their payments yet, there's still some sort of balance that is due. I highly recommend that you one, get them to go ahead and start plugging in their credit card information, their information, and let them know that there's only two payments left or one payment left or however many payments and you'll need to get set up properly on this system and we will no longer charge you on the other platform. Now that can be a disaster. So again, I highly recommend if you are able to let that person kind of just finish out their payment plan on the current platform, I would highly recommend you do that so it doesn't cause any hiccups or cause someone to not go and get on the next platform and you kind of miss out on payments. Now. Once you have your products in place and you have migrated your current customers over, the next thing I am going to recommend is if you have any sales pages, let's go ahead and get those cranked out. Again, I like to focus on revenue generating products versus just jumping on and creating a website. I want to move over the things that are gonna help to keep my business afloat versus just the things that I can work on on the back end. So once you have that taken care of, sales pages are next. Sales pages obviously will allow you to continue to sell even if your website's not up. It will allow you to continue to sell even if your funnels aren't fully set up. And so let's get that transferred next. Now, the third thing I would transfer transfer over is going to be my actual funnels. Again, I focus on if I were to send somebody to a lead magnet page or some sort of freebie, I can still function even without my website. So I want you to go ahead and start transferring that over no matter again, what funnels you have, whether it's a webinar funnel, whether it is a free book funnel or just a lead magnet or a SLO funnel, tripwire funnel, whatever it may be, let's go ahead and start transferring that over to the platform. Now, once you have that all done, during this process, I just want you to know if you're gonna be utilizing a funnel, if you're gonna be utilizing, obviously, products, you're gonna have to go ahead and start transferring over your contact information. So your emails that you have collected, no matter where they're at, if you're gonna be utilizing Kajabi, let's go ahead and start uploading them and importing them into your Kajabi platform. So you need to export whatever list you have, and then you're going to import that into Kajabi so that this then you are able to have all of your contacts. Again, it just helps you to be able to email your list and also have your system set up in place so that you can have your funnels properly running on the back end as well. All right, the last thing I would do after I have done all of that is my website. Again, I go back to what is my money generating thing. And if my website's not necessarily the thing that generates revenue, it's just maybe the thing that gets traffic or helps to create visibility, I would focus on everything else before that. So that gives you an opportunity to continue to sell, but then once you have your website up, it puts all of the pieces together. Okay, so corporate misfits. This process can sometimes be really tedious. It can also feel overwhelming, but if you take your time to focus on moving your products over first, moving over the people who are going to be one-time payments or they have finished out their payments in their courses, bring them over into a free product, let them start to enjoy the new platform, focus on bringing over your sales funnels and your email list if you're gonna be utilizing Kajabi, and then bring over your actual website if you're gonna utilize that as well. 
Okay, corporate misfits. I know, again, it can be really overwhelming, but that's the process that we normally take with our clients who already have an existing visibility, courses, membership, and all that kind of stuff on other platforms. That's how we properly move them over. Just know, depending on how many courses you have, how many sales funnels you have, and how many people you have on your email list, all that kind of stuff can take a period of time. So ultimately, it's gonna take different phases, but once you see all of that come together, you are good to go and you can start utilizing this all in one platform. Now, if you are not utilizing Kajabi yet or you're interested in checking out Kajabi, I do have an amazing trial that you can check out. You can find that below and also learn more about how to use Kajabi inside and out through our Kajabi starter kit. It will walk you through all the different steps and tools and things that you need to be successful on this platform. Okay, corporate misfits, I will see you soon. Leave a comment below letting me know if you are transferring from another platform to Kajabi and how is it going? What can I help you with so that you can be set up for success? Hey there, corporate misfits. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. Go ahead and hit subscribe so you can be notified of some of our upcoming videos.